Good afternoon everyone, it's Garrett and in today's video I'm bringing you guys the top 5 designs of the week, week number 40. And uh, first things first, I want to say that I hope everyone had a really awesome New Year's and holidays, you know, whoever celebrated Hanukkah or Christmas. If you guys got anything cool, designing related or art related, just let me know in the comment section below. You know, a lot of people came out to me saying that they got like these awesome computers, um, graphics, tablets and all that kind of stuff. And I kind of like seeing what people get, so uh, just let me know in the comment section. If something happened, you, know, you can let me there too. But uh, basically, I just hope everyone had a you know a happy holiday in general. And I'm sorry this is coming out a day late. I actually got held up myself on New Year's at my friend's house. But uh, overall, no excuses. Let's get straight into it. So the fifth place we have Oteka, who did a social media design for um, some member of Silver, and I gave him an 8.0 out of this. And basically. I really like the minimal styles, as you know, Kai Tech and I, you know, he's always in the top five and stuff like that. We have a good bond. But, uh, you know, for this, I really like that middle piece with the girls. I thought that was a really, really cool, you know, render to use unless you made it. But I think that's just a regular render. I think that's a really, really cool thing to use. But uh, when you get to like the text and stuff like that, I think that's when you really lost it. I think the colors were kind of a weird choice. I know it was supposed to match the shirt, but the colors just looked a little bit off. And then the silver logo on the right hand side just didn't really match. And then when you start adding, you know, those leaves and stuff in the background and blurring them, then it really, you know, it doesn't create that depth field. You have to put it in front of everything. But, uh, you know, worrying about stuff like that, you know, is a really big piece. And uh, making sure that all the colors kind of work together, like using, you know, strokes on text, using different color text and stuff like that. You really have to make sure everything flows together. So definitely keep all that in mind when you're doing this kind of stuff. And, uh, you know, if you do another one, definitely make sure to use um, some more colors and not just put a solid logo somewhere else. But that's all I have to say about yours, you man. You got an 8.0 out of 10 in the fifth place, and that's pretty good out of 250 entries. So the fourth place, we have one of two, which is going to be from iJersey, who did a social media design for Attach. Gave him 9.0 on this one, and overall, you know, these kind of designs are really, really nice to do. Because they're very simplistic, and you, know, you have to make sure that everything lines up perfectly and everything is the same height and stuff like that. It's a really big pain, but uh, he did a really good job doing these, and I really like them a lot. And, you know, doing these can really help benefit you, actually. You know, pros see these a lot, so definitely keep trying to do these kind of things, Jersey. But uh, this one specifically, I really liked a lot. You know, this is the one I was going to only put in before. I thought that the colors matched really well and that, you know, the background images and then the background, you know, outer glow um, text looked really well. But uh, when you're starting to do like the logos and stuff like that, you have to put them in the order that they're sponsored by and that they benefit the most. I'm not too sure if this is the exact order, but I'm pretty sure Turtle Beach has to be first. And I never had to worry about this, but as soon as I joined TK, I was actually told that I had to use sponsors in the order that I was supposed to. Really, really weird. But uh, other than that, um, everything else is done really well. You spell everything right, so that's an A plus on that. And if you go to your second design, you're going to have one for Embos. It was really, really good. You know, this was my actual favorite one. I believe you sent this in before, but there was just some other entries that kind of bumped this out. But uh, the sponsors look really, really well. They're all kind of the same height and in the same space apart. And, uh... Everything's kind of spaced out really, you know, well. So good job on this one, man. You know, good job on all your work. And I really enjoy these, so keep on doing them. So the third place, we have Reaper Creations, who did a header for Red Woofs. And I gave him a 9.2 out of 10 on this one. And overall, I thought this was actually a really, really dope style. And I like how it's like the two stages and like the lights only come down and it's dark in the middle. And that was just something that I thought was really, really rad. But uh, overall, man, the font choice is pretty dope. Not a lot of people use these kind of um, modern medieval fonts. But uh, other than that, I really enjoyed the whole entire thing. I thought that the chromatic aberration or like the RGB split on the you know images itself was a little bit too much. And the glowing on the text actually looked really, really well. But uh, that chromatic aberration just looked a little bit off. So definitely worry about that a little bit more. And uh, other than that, man, you did an insane job. And a 9.2 out of 10 in the third place is pretty sick. So the second spot, we have the Dark Bladers. And he did a header for Dare. And I gave him a 9.5 on this one, and I really enjoyed this piece because it looks like the whole entire Dare logo is getting like eaten by that flame. And uh, it was just really, really dope. I just really enjoyed looking at it. And uh, the, you know, the sponsors are very simplistic, and everything's just very nicely well done. And I gave him a 9.5 out of 10 on this one just because I thought that you could have added a little bit more, whether it be kind of like sparks going around the text or a little more highlights in the sparks. Or, you know, just dust and something like that. Something to actually help, you know, the whole background come together. I could have really worked out. But uh, the fire in the bottom right-hand side on the top left was a really cool add added effect. And uh, other than that, man, you've done everything really well. Just try to make more kind of things pop, like dust, sparks, um, particles, all that kind of stuff in the background. 
So with the first spot we have Ice Zayko who did a social media design and I'm not too sure who this is for. I know it says red, but that's all I got. I gave him a 9.9 on .9 this one and uh, I'm going to say what I didn't give you the 10 for straight off the bat. And right in the middle, your orange blocks to the um, black, you know, that's where it meets. And then if you look up a little bit to the right, it's still fading out. So that just really, you know, got my eye going. But uh, what I could have done or what I would have done if I did this is I would have tried to split up that red, you know, behind a leaf and fit it to the black, like, you know, where the stem is or the root. And that could have really offset everything. But, you know, man, you did an insane job. The whole entire thing is done really nicely. I like the added effects with the $5 bill and the whole kind of, like, bursting and blowing, glowing effect. Um, the text in the background was done really, really well with the ripple effects and stuff like that. And everything has kind of flown really nicely together. And I have nothing else to say about it. I really like the whole entire, you know, minimal style. And then how you have, like, the leaves and stuff like that and the orange, you know. It was just really, really sick how you put it all together. And uh, 9.9 out of 10 in first spot. It's pretty sick, and thank you for submitting your portfolio. But that's going to be it for today's top five. If you guys did enjoy, make sure to leave a thumbs up on this video. Comment below what you guys want to see next. And uh, if you guys have any New Year's resolutions, of course, let me know in the comment section below. First things first, though, before the video even ends, I want to say thank you guys so much for 14,400 subscribers. Um, it's just insane. I'm going to try to hit 30K by the end of 2017. So we're going to be grinding. I'm going to try to get upload schedule, you know, prime for the New Year's. And other than that, guys, I really hope you enjoy, you know, all your holidays. Hope you guys go on back to school and you don't actually hate your life when you go back. But uh, other than that, guys, I'll see you in my later on videos. Peace out.